Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shalom, shalom. I want to welcome everyone to the West African Hebrew Israelites, the hidden identity. Thank you so much for joining us today's teachings. I know your life will never be the same. Father, I praise you. Father, I honor you. For you alone deserve the glory, adoration, magnification. You alone deserve the praise, Father. I adore your holy name. Supreme be you are worthy to praise. I thank you for this privilege, Father. I bless your holy name. And I'll take this opportunity and say thank you so much for our new subscribers and old subscribers. Everyone that took time to subscribe to the channel. I say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. May Yah bless you and keep you. May Yeshua change your countenance. May Yeshua turn your situation around. May everything that you touch will be a blessing. May the Father bless you. May the Father bless you. Enlarge your course. May he bless you. Enlarge your course. Um, today our teachings, we are doing teachings about um Joseph. We are doing teachings about Joseph and uh who is Joseph and uh did uh the Egyptians have a record or have um something to show us who is Joseph because we have a lot of fame out, out there um letting the people know that oh, like the Hebrews are this race, they are white, they are this, they are this, and even to uh, movies and to our children and all that, uh, our children books. But before we we'll go deep or we we'll continue these teachings, let's read one of the covenants, please. Uh, today, our covenant, we will read Second uh, Chronicles chapter seven fourteen. It says, "The covenant of the Lord Yahweh, the covenant of the Lord Yahweh." Um, and I read, "If my people, which are called by my name," shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. So um, we have the first map on the screen right now and uh, this map will be the map of Africa and we can see Egypt. Egypt, we have an uh, arrow pointing to Egypt. Um, so now we, it's not like we don't know uh, where Egypt is located or, locating. or maybe one doesn't know that's fine, but it's good to, for us to bring the map here and there to uh, refresh our memory. So we have the um, map of Africa and we can see Egypt. And Egypt and Israel share border. It's like from, let's say, Nigeria to Cameroon or Nigeria to Benin or to Benin or Togo being, being West Africa. So that is the reason why we have um, the map showing border to border. And that helps. I hope so. We have the next map on the screen right now. Like I said, we are doing this today. The teachings will be based on um, Joseph. Who is Joseph? And um, so when we mention Joseph, that means we have to do um, the link for our forefathers. So the map that we have, you can see on the right, on the top, um, a minute ago, I said, the map that I showed, I said, uh, Egypt and Israel share border. So this is what we have. Um, now they have made man-made Swiss canal, but like, as you can see, you walk without any disturbance. There won't be any water or anything, but recently they did, or this time they have, made um canal like to cross you have to cross it just by the way so let's continue today's teachings um like i said you can see uh the land of canaan being israel on the right of the map then uh on the screen on the screen <laughs> and then you have egypt on the left on the screen so we have arrow pointing from the journey our forefathers journey from um, right side to the left side and went to Goshem and went to Goshem. When you read um, the uh, the Torah or you read the Bible, Genesis chapter 45, um, 9 up to 21, who will read. So you can see as the journey. So on the bottom and the middle, as our forefathers went from um, 
Israel, the land of Canaan, the Canaanites, even the, the, uh, Pharaoh, uh, the Pharaoh and the people of Egypt called them, they are Canaanites, Hebrews. So you can see as they journey from right to left and went and dwell. It's not like Israel is in Europe or, but no, Israel is Africa, the land of Africa, Akabura or the land of Eden. That is the name. Israel is in Africa. So when you look at the map, Israel will be on the northeast of Africa. So Egypt to northeast of Africa. Let's read Genesis 45, read from 9 up to 21. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by Sorry, Genesis 45, <laughs> we read from 9 up to the 21. So let's read it. Haste ye, and go up to my father, and say unto him, Thus saith thy son Joseph, God hath made me lord of all Egypt. Come down unto me, tarry not. And thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me, thou and thy children, and thy children's children, and thy flocks and thy herds, and all that thou hast. And there will I nourish thee, for yet there are five years of famine, lest thou and thy household and all that thou hast come to poverty. And behold, your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin, that it is my mouth that speaketh unto you. And ye shall tell my father of all my glory in Egypt, and of all that ye have seen. And ye shall haste and bring down my father hither. And he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept. And Benjamin wept upon his neck. Moreover, he kissed all his brethren, and wept upon them. And after that, his brethren talked with him. And the fame thereof was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brethren are come. And it pleased Pharaoh well and his servants. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, Say unto thy brethren, This do ye, lay your beasts, and go, get you unto the land of Canaan. And take your father and your households, and come unto me, and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt, and ye shall eat the fat of the land. Now thou art commanded, this do ye, take you wagons out of the land of Egypt, for your little ones, and for your wives, and bring your father, and come. Also regard not your stuff, for the good of all the land of Egypt is yours. And the children of Israel did so. And Joseph gave them wagons according to the commandment of Pharaoh, and gave them provision for the way. To all of them he gave... So there is a reason why our forefathers sojourned from the land of Cana and came to Mizraim or the land of Egypt. So this is what we have on the screen right now. Let's move on. Uh, we came across this picture. Uh, you can see um, this tells you one thing. Um, the time of, uh, of what, when uh, the... A Hebrew went to Egypt um, and Jacob was blessing Joseph. But this is wrong. That is wrong. Joseph nor Jacob or nor, nor the Hebrews were not um, white men. And this one you can tell is, uh, they are white men. Uh, I don't know where, uh, whether um, it can be movie or uh, books or whatever. It is wrong. Um, it is wrong. So this will be the time of um in the book of genesis chapter 48 15 when um jacob uh bless um joseph when jacob bless joseph so that's what they have on the screen right now for the sake of our children and our grandchildren please all that is the reason why we are doing this um teachings i think last week one if you you haven't watched it watch it we did about uh moshe so the the Moshe one two we need to we brought we, we brought different pictures to compare who is the actual Moshe. So as uh you can see on the screen right now, uh it is a lie. The Hebrews or the Israelites or the Jews or uh, the children of uh Jacob were no white men. Let's do the next one. This one will be perfect example. Jo Jacob was blessing. His grandchildren being Ephraim and Manasseh, Ephraim and Manasseh, and that one to um, Genesis chapter 48, uh, from 16 up to 20. We'll read it. And uh, Joseph went, so father, like 
you are doing the right say and all. But again, the picture does not tally. Joseph nor Jacob will, will, will be, um, they are no white uh, men, nor their children, I mean his children. Then um, the, the, the princess of uh, Egypt, the prince of, princess of Egypt, she is not a white lady or she was not a white lady. And Joseph's wife name was Asnaf. Asnaf. A S E N A T H. Asnaf. Let's read something. Let's let's read the book of Genesis chapter forty-eight, verse sixteen. Um, the reason why we are uh, we brought this picture. I'm not saying I quite remember. I'm not saying Jacob and Joseph and the uh, uh, the wife being Asnaf and Ephraim and Manasseh are white people. No, I quite remember we did. A story, if I'm not mistaken, is about um, Solomon being uh, Solomon, King Solomon, Solomon. Then uh, someone gave a comment. Oh, she's saying she doesn't know what she's saying. She's saying uh, what uh, Solomon, Solomon is a white man and all that. You know, people just look at the picture, then they start talking. No, I'm not saying they are white. No, I'm saying they are not N O T, not white people. So. Uh, Let's continue. Let me all my life long unto this day. The angel which redeemed me from all evil. Bless the lads. And let my name be named on them. And the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac. And let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. And he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people, and he also shall be great. But truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. And he blessed them that day, saying, In thee shall Israel bless, saying, God make thee as Ephraim and as Manasseh, and he said Ephraim before Manasseh. And Israel said, So this is the scene we have, as we read, this is the scene we have on the screen right now. Let's bring another picture. I have the one we show if it's not worse, but this one is just pale, pale, white, white. Um, again, all these are lies. We need to be awakening to know the truth. We need to be awakening to know the truth. Knowing the truth is very, very important. And knowing the, the truth, this very truth shall set us free. So... Uh, I don't know, but well, you can see what they have as Ephraim and Manasseh, Joseph being white and Jacob being white and the wife. But this is not true. As we go, we see, we have evidence. Uh, who is Joseph? And uh, did uh, the Egyptians have a uh, record of Joseph? Did Egyptians have record of Joseph? So let's move on. We have the next picture on the screen right now. In this picture, we can see two men and one is sowing to other. So uh, by seeing it, you can tell that uh, Pharaoh will be on the left on the screen. Then uh, Joseph will be on the what right on, right on the screen. And that one, when you read um, the book of Genesis uh, 41, 44, uh, you will see Genesis 41, 44, you will see. We have another one on the screen right now. And this one, I think we have done um, teaches about Joseph when we brought a cup, but uh, a man holding a cup. And by this one, it though it's not clear uh, very much. You can see in front of him. And again, this one, the calf is, is not like drawing the calf, like what cement. They made it with cement. cement. So you can see men carrying um, staff, goats, animal, cow, and all that. Be in charge of food. Be in charge of food. And he he's sitting, uh, uh, like lay his hand on the on the food. Like so, this uh, a message. You as you you see it, you read it. Be in charge of food because of the people carrying the food and food around him. Then lay his hand on top of a table with full of what food. So be in charge of it. Your hand is on it, so you are in charge of it. Then he he was holding a cup. Why did Egyptian have to have this uh, image, Pharaoh holding a cup? 
mm, does this sound right? No, it that wouldn't sound right. I mean, he will hold a cup and drink it in drink from it anyway. But there's a message behind the cup. So let's read the book of let's read the book of Genesis chapter 41. We we'll read from 40 up to 41. Great and wise as thou art, thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand, and put it upon Joseph's hand, and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen, and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him. So this is what we have on the screen as people are in front of him being in charge of all the people on the land and the food staff so this is what we have on the screen but we'll treat the issue of uh what do you call it the cup later um so this one of the confirmation we have this man is joseph but not pharaoh uh prince of egypt being in charge of all the land if pharaoh is so second in command second in command we have next one on the screen right now. This one will be Joseph and the wife Asnath. So uh, you can see again, uh, he's standing, uh, stretching the arm towards uh, the full staff and everything is in front of him. It's in front of him. Again, you can see the appearance of Joseph being a darker person. The wife to be a darker person. Um, there won't be any dispute about this. Um, then please please i encourage each and everyone that come across our channel please do your own research research will help trust me it will help a lot let's do our own research uh if you do not uh agree disagree with us that's fine that's fine we won't have to have their own opinion but when we go beyond what we think and do research it will help us a lot then on, on top right and on the bottom left, we can see two arrow. We have two arrow. Why did they have these two um, people and they have two kids? Boys. Why? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I, like I said earlier, on, um, the Egyptians know the uh, Hebrews, all their drawing and letters, um, alphabets or pictures and all that. It is a, a a sentence, a message. I hope what I'm trying to say that sent right with uh, you guys. So why did they have uh, <laughs> two kids or where the, 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 the parents are or where the two couples are standing as they have this carving or this drawing or this statue? Why did they have two kids uh, like next to them? When you read the book of Genesis chapter 41, verse 50 we we'll read it tells us joseph did have two sons and the name will be what ephraim and manasseh manasseh and ephraim ephraim so we have the descendants of ephraim and then we have uh the descendants of manasseh so this is what we have on the screen it's no coincidence this confirm um what the torah tells us so the egyptians have record of our forefathers and our foremothers, then the Torah tells us exactly the same thing. And I quite remember a couple of years ago, um, there was a documentary that uh, I was watching or interview or something. They said they did search, dig, search Egypt, the archaeologic search, search, search. They didn't, they, they are not finding any Hebrew uh, history that the Hebrew were slaves there, Hebrew were there. Yes. Of course, you won't find it because you guys are looking at the wrong people. You won't find a group of like a, a huge people that are white, that are Egyptian black men or black people enslaved them. No, you won't find it because Egyptians are darker skin tone and the Hebrews are darker skin tone. So why as you at the world is telling us the Ashkenazi are the Hebrews. So when archaeologists are searching, they will not find them there. They will not find them there. Look. Or, or look at what we are seeing on the screen right now. And if you have your Bible, please, please open to the book of Genesis chapter 41. Then we'll read the 50. Okay, and I read uh, Genesis chapter 41 verse 50. Say, And unto Joseph were born two sons. 
before the years of farming come, which Asnath, the daughter of Petipharah, prince of On, bear unto him. Bear unto him. So this is what we are seeing on the screen right now. There is no coincidence. This is what uh, the will of the Mosai for us to uh, see all this, for us to understand all this message, for us to uh, embrace, embrace all this message, for this message to awaken us up. Salvation, salvation, salvation is the key. Salvation is the centerpiece. The Mosa is calling his people. He's waking us, us for one reason, for one purpose. The reason and the purpose is what? His son, Jesus Christ, popular name, uh, well, name well known name, Yeshua Hamashiach of Nazareth. He's calling us to himself. So let's see what we have on the screen. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm speechless, short of ways. What we are seeing on the screen right now, I can't believe it. Confirmation, because if it were to be Pharaoh, why did they have to bring Pharaoh children? What, what message would that send? And on the screen again, when you look at the bottom, under the table, you can see hand, hand in charge. Though he stretched his hand towards everything, again, you can see the hand. And like the full staff, they, I think they have uh, a tie of a cow, different thing that they have there, like animal, everything. He's in charge. So he is in charge of everything. Second in command. Why do uh, the Egyptian have to have this um, calf or this uh, statue and have two kids on the, like next to their parents? Next to their parents. So why is in between them and the one will be like next to the father? Why? Except one thing. Because they record everything. And those days, back in the days, ancient days, their record would be the uh, images, drawing things, uh, carving things. That's the message. So when you see it, you know the story, then it, it, it fits perfectly. This one is a whole book, a whole sentence. This is what we are seeing on the screen right now. He's, he is in charge. He was in charge of everything. You can see drink, bottle. You can see cattle, food. I mean, everything. He is in charge. Pharaoh put him in charge. And this is what we have on the screen. Boy, it is mouthful. I am so speechless. And I thank the Father. I am happy. I thank the Father for this privilege, for this opportunity. And I'm humble by it. Please, please, fa please, friends, uh, our family members, please, let's uh, spread the message this good news as we being the people of the most high we being the chosen people let's embrace the message of the most high please please salvation is the key let's move on now we have uh, the first one that we showed that i, I was saying that the picture was play this one is kind of clear more brighter so you can see we have uh, the one on the right some are carrying full stuff, working. You can tell, holding things and every, like in, in, in being, um, keeping themselves busy working. And you can see the master or the second in command sitting. So we have the arrow pointing the cup. We have the arrow pointing the cup. Like I said a minute ago, would, would this make sense that uh, the Egyptian will have this image, Pharaoh holding a cup? It wouldn't make sense. But we know a story that second in command did use a cup, his cup, his cup. And that one will be in the book of um, Genesis chapter 44. We we'll read from 1 to 3, the story of um, Joseph Cup, the story of Joseph Cup. Genesis 44. And he commanded the steward of his house, saying, Fill the men's sacks with food, as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack's mouth. And put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and his corn money. And he did, according to the word that Joseph had spoken. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away, they and their asses. And when they were gone out of the city... So please, if you have time, you can continue reading Genesis 44 from 1 uh, up to... You can read up to the um, 6. You can read up to the 6. But um, now we know, now we know, we have the confirmation. The cup of um, Joseph, he uh, ordered his uh, people or his men in the house to put the sack in the lad, um, 
the cap in the lad lad sack being the youngest one sack uh being benjamin sack um and like when you continue reading you will see uh you know the story or maybe you know the story already that's fine so that is the reason why the egyptians will have the story tell of uh the second in command holding a cup second in command holding a cup uh i don't know about you but i'm so blessed i am so blessed having the opportunity um teaching i'm so blessed having having the opportunity bringing these messages so please um enough is enough do not allow we don't have to allow ourselves for all these lies to go on we can start um drawing um doing cartoons uh teaching our children it can be a church our uh, family gathering we need to what, tell this story our forefathers and our foremothers they have story time telling a story it's not ghost time but they tell a story so we need to tell a story in beginning it won't be easy telling your children they see movies they read books and all that all the people are white people and you are telling them they are not the actual people but what the presentation that we brought today you can confirm you can see that indeed the people are not the uh, the biblical people people that they show on the movies on the tvs they are all lies biblical people are darker skin tone like us uh the race does not change our appearance does not change people being melanin people or people being uh, colored people does not change so let's do well and teach our our children and teach our grandchildren salvation is the centerpiece salvation is the centerpiece when you read the book of Acts chapter 4 12 well there's there won't be any other salvation except through christ jesus christ and when you read a book of uh, luke chapter 9 10 again it's about salvation and i read uh, luke 9 19 verse uh, 9 to 10 it say uh, and yeshua said unto him this day is salvation uh, coming come to this house for for much as he also is a son of abraham then for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost so it doesn't matter how far we have gone it does not matter he who can save whoever is ready whoever is tasty come and drink this unique water it's about salvation. It doesn't matter at all. The devil will let you know you don't deserve it. You are you are filthy. You are dust. You are this. You are this. Like even if they have to mention them, you are the least that they will mention. But as the devil will tell you this, the devil will point to you your flaws, your wrong. You are a fornicator. You are a drunkard. You are a smoker. You are this. I mean, all your sins. He will remind you one one after the other. But remember, Yeshua did not come and save the righteous. You can go to the Torah, just read the uh, Genesis, uh, read the book of Matthew, up to the uh, John, or uh, Luke. Just read and find where he saved the righteous. He didn't come to save; he came for the sinners. And as we read Luke chapter nineteen, verse nine to ten, he said he came. Today, salvation have come to the house of Lazarus. He came, uh, <coughs> Zacchaeus, sorry. He came to save which was lost. So far as you are a descendant of Abraham, Abraham, you are a Hebrew. Salvation is yours. Salvation is yours. He came to save the house, the lordship of the house of Israel. Yeshua came to save us. Salvation is for us. So do not worry no matter how i mean human being can what measure your sin by the moment you break it down and give it to the lord and accept him as you raise your hands he will save you when we read the book of Acts, chapter 13 verse 47 and i read it says for so had the lord yahweh commanded us saying i have set thee to be a light of the gentiles the that this should not uh shouldn't be for salvation not uh, uh, under uh, unto the end of the earth unto the end of earth sorry the, this king james words um yahweh uh, the most i have set us command us to be what uh, uh light 
We have to be light. The Hebrews have to be light. Israel have to be light for the Gentiles. So we have to receive the salvation and we have to what? Able to what? Deliver the message of truth to the Gentiles, to the world, to the Gentiles. So it doesn't matter how far you have gone. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how people think you are. You have a sinful nature. We, are, we all have sin and what? For a short, we are sin and what? Fall short of glory of the Most High. It's just by His grace. The grace means I don't deserve it. And when you read the book of Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11, the Most High says something. Let's read it. And I read, saying, Ezekiel 33, 11, saying unto, say unto them, As I live, says the Lord, the Lord Yahweh, God Elohim, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his ways and live. He said he doesn't, he doesn't find pleasure. In the death of wickeds, but wickeds have to turn from their wickeds ways for them to live. Live. Even if you die today, you are living forever in heaven. It's just so simple. He is the God of all flesh. And he said he doesn't find what pressure of the death of wickeds, but that the wickeds turn from their wickeds ways and live. They have to turn and live. And as I, I continue, it say, ten you ye ten ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel, O you Hebrew? Why will you die? He's not talking about just this fleshy death that this decay body will die and just go. No, he's talking about internal life. He, he you need to have that life, L I V E. He say ten. Ye ten, ye ten from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Ten, ten, and live. Salvation is the centerpiece. Salvation. Awakening. Awakening. We need to know the truth. And this very truth shall set us free. Please, let's do well. Embrace the word of the Father. Please. I pray. I'll end here. I pray that this message has blessed you. Please, please, if the message has blessed you, give a thumbs up, bless the name of the Mosai, share the link. Maybe you have not subscribed. Please, please subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe. And thank you so much for subscribing. Whether you're old subscriber and old new subscriber, please thank you. The word of the day, the word of the day. It says, seek the Lord Yahweh, O Israel. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Um, seek the Lord Yahweh, O Israel. My brethren, my heart desire and my prayer to God Elohim for Israel is that they might be saved. Again, salvation. Paul or Saul was thinking about the house of Israel. The house of Israel. Salvation is the key. He was thinking about the Hebrews. The father mindset for you to be saved. Even the apostle mindset for you to be saved. Yeshua came. It's the only to the lordship of the house of Israel. Please, please, turn and say, be saved. Please, please. The Father wants you to believe. Live, live, and live again. I am so grateful for everyone that watches my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for sharing the videos. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. In Yeshua's name. Shalom, everyone. Bye-bye.